Hi guys and welcome, my name is Jude and today I am here to do the New Year's Resolution Book Tag which is different from the New Year's Book Tag. This tag was created in December 2013 but it is still just as present as it ever was and I will link down the original video down below as well as all the questions. And of course the new year has started and with it come all the resolutions that we will not fulfill during the year because clearly I am an optimistic. Now let's get right to the questions. Number one, an author you'd like to read that you've never read before. That would have to be Andrew Smith, which is the author of A Hundred Sideways Miles and also Grasshopper Jungle, which was a reading goal that I had last year. I wanted to read a book by him, um, but again, I want to try to do it again in 2017 because he's such a hyped up author and I would like to get on board with him. So I cannot wait to read this book, which is the only one I have by him. So yeah, Andrew Smith. Two, a book you'd like to read in general? I'm guessing. Now I'd really like to finally get on board and read The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brokenbrod, which has the most fascinating premise I have ever read before, which is about like, you know how love and death are always like together, like with Romeo and Juliet and Titanic and death always wins. Well, maybe, just maybe love might win in this one and that's so cool. So definitely this bad boy. Number three, a classic you'd like to read. Now, that would be for 2017. I really don't want to read any classics this year. I don't like classic books, so um, I'm just gonna skip this one. Bye-bye. Number four, a book that you'd like to reread. That is easy. That would be Wake by Abria Martina, which is a book that I've had in my mind going around the last couple of weeks. For some reason, I've been thinking a lot about this story and I really cannot wait to reread it again. I've read this like four times already and it's like 700 pages long, but it is so good. Most people don't know about this book, but it is just so, so great, so funny, so charming, so lovely. I love it with all my soul. You should read it. It is also a book that's like wine. It gets better with time. I always love it so much. Each time I just fall in love even more with it. Number five, a book that you've had for ages that you want to read. <laughs> Which of my books I haven't had for ages and want to read. Like 50% of my books I've had for years and haven't gotten around to reading them, which I'm trying to catch up to at this point in my life. But the one that uh, like came top of mind was Blood Red Road by Maura Young, which I started, I started and I was really getting into it, and then I just dropped because that's what I do and that's why all of my relationships have failed. I even bought the sequels, like I have the whole series thinking that it would motivate me to finish it and it didn't, but I really want to get to it this year because I've been, I'm in the mood to read this kind of thing so I just want to do it. Number six, a big book you'd like to read. Fairly simple question because of course I want to read The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson and it's a big boy. It's a big boy. I find it to be intimidating and I'm sure I will need like a little notebook to keep track of all the characters and circumstances because it's so massive and Brandon Sanderson tends to write in full on detail. But I'm still excited. I think it was also a goal of mine for 2016 that I didn't fulfill but I'm hoping again. Perseverance people, perseverance. Number seven, an author you've previously read and want to read more of. That would have to be Pratt. The Pratt Patrick. Patrick Ness, where I read A Monster Calls and I was so taken by it and I really enjoyed it. So I really want to read more of him and starting with more than this. So yes, hopefully I'll get around to it this year. Number eight, a book you got for Christmas and would like to read. And that would be the only book that I got for Christmas. And that is Vasa in the Night, if that's even how it's pronounced, which I think I already established. It's Vasa, 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 Vasa. Number nine, a series you want to read from start to finish, like this year. I don't have any series that I like want to start this year because of money, but I do have a series, like many series, where I read the first book and never continued, and one of those would be the Shadow and Bone series by Leigh Bardugo, and I really want to finish with it. I already read the first book, I just need to go through three and two, two and three, and I want to do that this year. So here's Helen, cat, cat. The cat also supports me through this 2017. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? She's not amused. She's not amused. Not amused. Not amused. Number 10. A series you want to finish that you've already started. 
I cheated on the last one, but that will be the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass, which I think the last book hasn't been released yet, and I'm not even sure if it's gonna be released like the last, last, last one this year, but at least I'm gonna catch up to the ones that I already have, uh, because it's such a great series. It's so great. Number 11, do you set reading goals? If so, how many books do you want to read in 2017? I always want to read like 30, 35, but I never make it. I always make it like 218 or 20, if I'm lucky. But I'm gonna try it again this year because I'm optimistic, yes. And last, number 12, any reading goals. Now, for this particular year, my goal was to be more creative and I made a video of this already. I don't know if it's up already. It should be up soon, if not. But it is about creativity and um, how books can really help you get through that creative process and develop more creative ways of thinking. So I bought a lot of creative thinking type of books. Like these ones over here? With exercises and things to do to get that creative train of thought going. And I really would like to actually get through doing them. Because <laughs> sometimes with exercise books or interactive books, you just leave them there, never done. But I would love to do them, actually do them this year. And that would be it for this video and all the questions. As I said, everything is linked down below as well as the books mentioned. And I would love to know in the comment section down below, what are some of your goals for this year? Maybe the number of books you want to read, an author you want to read, or just in general genres you're venturing off into. And as always, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!